Hey guys, and welcome back to Themanas. When we last left off, we were in the catacombs. So, let's continue exploring, shall we? I like this place. It seems over the top. Completely over the top in the uh, evil vibes. But that's okay. We like that. Obviously, this master was having an awful lot of fun down here. Although, I'd wager that guy had less fun than everyone else. Now, we know when we see a blood splatter, we're going to have a friendo from another dimension. That's alright. Come on, buddy. Let's be having ya. Ah, oh, bless him. He couldn't work out how to get around a table. I guess where he comes from, there are none. No matter. Yeah, this place is very fancy. Very fancy. Not sure that I would really enjoy a stay here myself. I suppose it depends, really, what side of the cage you're on. Ooh. Take the ammo. Hello, fella. I'm guessing you didn't exactly have the best time ever either. Too bad. So sad. It's quite a... Ooh, hello. Quite a big area they have down here. And there's a gravekeeper. Well, let's put him to bed. Luckily, he's carrying his coffin on his head. Which is going to make things significantly easier for us. Come on, you bastard. Let's be having ya. Oh, he can't understand how fixtures and fittings work either. That's curious. Now, I have found that these ones, uh, if you shoot the casket on their back, uh, they're actually um, armoured. So that's good to know. Ah. The resting place of kings, I would wager. Oh, probably not. Anyway, that guy that we killed earlier, the pursuer enemy, if you will. He dropped us a key, didn't he? And that key opens that door. It's an optional area. Uh, you know what? Let's fill our flask up. No point leaving it for the roaches now. We have a portal, which is going to be instrumental. Ooh. Bandages. Right, well, uh... Let's leave that behind. Leave you behind. Leave you behind. Grab you. What else do we have here? Now, before we go through the portal to jiggle our junk around, let's have a little wander through here, shall we? Doesn't look like this. Oh, hello. Let's see a grave keeper. Or grave digger, I believe these guys are called. Let's see if we can chip away at him from a distance. Rather difficult to see if we're actually hitting him. There we go. He's coming. Come on, buddy. That's it. Move your ass over here. There you go. Got plenty of these for you. I suppose we don't have to wait until we've got a perfect... Ooh, he's moving. He's moving. <laughs> Chase me. Come on, buddy. Come on. You want some of this? Sure you do. Ah, he's dead. Last time, I shot him through this gate. <laughs> but that's fine. He's all right. He was a good lad. He played ball with us. Oh, we've got a blood splatter. You know what that means. Come on, friend. Ah, that hurts. Hurt you more, though. Back from whence you came. Let's put a couple of cartridges in this bad boy. Collect some souls. And go back to the handgun. Uh, health is not 
great, but we'll make it work. Or maybe we won't. Evening! You want to come and join the party, my friend? Now, can we actually outrun this guy in this state? I actually have no idea. But he doesn't seem to be that interested in actually uh, fighting us. Right, well that'll do. Actually, what we will do, let's hobble over to the next room. We can't go through here. This door seems locked from the other side. Do you want to look through it? Why not? Well, that looks delightful. I guess we're not going in through there. No problemo. Let's fill up our jug of water. And hobble down to see what's in this room. Well, this looks lovely. Love what they've done with the place. Absolute class act. Well, well, well. Some large spider webs. There are coffin there's coffins everywhere. I wonder why. I wonder why as well, Alicia. All these urns and bowls look like some kind of a cult ceremony went on here. Did they think this stuff was gonna make them immortal? Maybe that's why they're all monstrosities now. Well, I think the master's the only one in truly um hoping to become immortal. Everybody else is just being used by the look of things. Right, what else do we have? Oh, got a... Oh, hello. He's uh, having a little peek out of his sarcophagus there. That's fine. Oh, we can go down the trap door. How curious. There's another save disc that we can't use. We found some explosive bolts as well. Gonna have some fun with those. Let's grab you and you. And what we can do... Looks like there's a spot for a gear to go here on the left. There is indeed, Alicia. There we go. We now have a working elevator, which we can use to get out of here. Um, I haven't been down this trapdoor. Wonder where that leads. Ah. I have not explored that trapdoor. In fact, I completely missed it. So what we might do in a minute is go back down there. Anyway, let's go back and heal, grab some items, and then return. It's going to be a long hobble back, but that's fine. We can enjoy the scenery and listen to the ambience along the way. I wonder who keeps all these candles lit and all these torches. You know, that's quite a bit of work to light all of these. Maybe it is the uh, guy that's following us around in charge of maintenance around here. So we're going to have to go grab a heal. At, at the very least. Yeah, we'll get some ointment on those rags. And maybe have a look at our weapon situation. Very apprehensive to put the shotgun back. We will drop you off. We'll drop you off. We really don't need to save it. We haven't really done anything. We'll grab some ointment. And now we have our super bandage. It's going to make us feel quite a bit better. And what have we got? Oh, we've got a lot of things to pull back. All right, we've got to go use the researcher's key. That's fine. Um, hmm, yeah, we'll put you back. We'll keep the knife for now. Let's go grab up the researcher's key. But we'll keep that on us because we're about to use all that up. Now, onward. We do have everything we need, don't we? Yeah. Only got 15 shotgun shells left. That's not the best result in the world, I'm gonna be honest. But I'm sure we'll make it work. We always do. Now what, pray tell, 
is in the researcher's room. I wonder if that's that fella that was writing all of the uh, lore. Maybe it was. Hmm. Oh, we got a blood splatter. Oh, hello. Come on, buddy. There we go. Oof. Oh, you bastard. I've never seen them do that attack before. They swing at us with the legs. Unless I've just straight up missed it. Ah, souls. Excellent. Got some mine bolts. Sure. Mac ammo. Don't mind if I do. Anything else before we read the note? Uh, doesn't look like it. Okay. Let's uh, get our reading glasses on. Excerpt from the Journal of Dr. Arnold Howard. September 9th. This game. Oh, it's so loud. Jesus. Uh, the longer I stay here in this small chamber next to the dungeon, the worse off my mental health grows. I feel like I'm growing mad. I hear voices coming from the other side of the door all the time now. Where the massive underground catacombs sprawl. I have gone back there a few times myself when the, occult, uh, when the cultists forget to lock the dungeon doors. And I wish I hadn't. I think I understand now uh, part of the master's diabolical scheme. I found dozens of coffins back there. The smell of rot and decay coming thick from them. I can hear the shuffling movement uh, as if things were trying to escape these coffins. I found skeletons hanging from chains similar to the cultists. I witnessed being ex... Similar to the cultists I witnessed being executed the other night. Strangest of all, however, are the vials of what they claim to be holy water that are found throughout the dungeon. They have gave me a few bottles to keep in my chamber, claiming it was the only thing that kept the shadow beings at bay. It doesn't make any sense. These people are not practicing Christians in the least. No, they're not. They're something far darker. Well, I mean, yeah, I guess that, it's all a matter of perspective. You know, argue until the cows come home whose religion is the right one, blah, blah, blah. After all, there is about 10,000 of them. So we've got a little bit of lore. Let's go. We don't need that. We don't need that. And let's go and check out that underground passage. But I haven't been down there, so I'm curious to see what's there. And then we can worry about going up the elevator. I'm going to assume, because I haven't been down to the underground passage, I'm going to assume that we're going to come to some sort of dead end. But there might be some nice supplies along the way, mayhap. Either that or we're going to run into a big nasty boss monster that's just going to like one hit kill us. Uh, I didn't actually bring any more health, but that's fine. Let us go down into the dank depths below. And indeed, it does sound very dank and stinky down here. Let's go take this Z out. Oh, number two. It's a shame there's no way of actually, like, sneaking up on the zombies. Like you could, say, for instance, in the modern Resident Evil games. I did enjoy that. The little oh oh he's got a bit of a bit of a lunge to him, isn't he? His guts are falling out. I bet you're kind of regretting joining this cult now, Sunshine. Ah, we've got a crawler. I'm gonna worry too much about him, right? Oh, underground passage. <laughs> That's actually quite a nice little map there. Door is locked from the other side. Yeah, here we go. Evening, fella. You don't look so hot. Let's see if we can't end your suffering. There we go. 
didn't take too many stabs. Oh. Where does this lead? How about that? Leads back to the cabin. Curious. Well, we don't need to go back to the cabin. But we've certainly learned something together today. Let's go back. So I'm guessing this is the little underground section that's going to join up all of... Oh, we don't have a map for the area. There's literally a map here. I guess there's no way of us actually taking that map. Right, so yeah, these must be all the different um, trap doors. Yeah, there you go. Catacombs and... Yeah, right, there's six of them. Interesting. So this is going to become like a bit of a shortcut, I suppose. Much later on, though. Well, I say much later on. I assume so. I'm not actually sure how far we are through the game. I would assume reasonably far. Now let's go and take our elevator back upstairs. And see where this will emerge us. Ah, would you look at that. We're back in the mansion. Now, one thing to learn about the mansion. Um, things are different. Everything's kind of moved around a little bit. There's a portal there, which may or may not have already been there, but all of the doors have been shuffled around. And what I mean by that is um, some doors that were previously open are now locked, and some doors that were locked are now open. It's very strange how they've kind of done that, but, you know, let's put the knife... No, we're going to keep the knife. Let's put the handgun back and get the crossbow. Um... Because the crossbow, the power of the crossbow, is, in the simple fact, we take a hill with us as well. We'll find some along the way, I'm sure. Um, well, what is our... Yeah, our health is alright. Um, the power of the crossbow is you can put all of your ammo in it. And you don't have to reload. Now, I don't know... I, just how powerful the standard crossbow is. Uh, the standard crossbow bolts anyway. They seem to be comparable, I guess, to the pistol, but maybe they're slightly less effective. I'm not sure. Oh, buddy. Let's be having you. There you go. Another one in the head. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, you're getting a bit close there, fella. Ooh, you're getting very close there, fella. Then like that. Try and save ammo where we can. Ooh, that's going to leave a mark. It's going to be a lot lighter to drag into the coffin, that's for sure. Evening. Come on, friend. Let's be having you. Pretty sure I can solve your problem. Look at him reaching out with his gribbly hand. Filthy bastard. I'm going to put his hands on my dress. And he does as well. Oh. Okay. These guys seem to be quite willing to drop their arms for us. It's a shame we can't pick their arms up and beat them with them. Now, we've got an elevator there that we can't do anything with. And we need the Pluto key for that door. Okay. That is something that we can solve. Evening. Hope life's been treating you well, sir. Looks like you're part of the grumpy old man club, according to your t-shirt. Yeah. Do they take new members? Because I certainly know a grumpy old man who would... Uh, Probably been quite interested. Now, that's him gone. Now this one, ah, we need a sun key for you. Okay. Let's have a little look in here. 
This room is nasty. Because as you can see, they start you... Start a zombie. Literally, there's no room at all to move in here. It's uh, pretty savage. Now, this crossbow can fire really quickly. I was not expecting that. We've got a magazine. We've got some bandages. Hmm. Semi-tempted to eat those bandages. You know, we might just do that. Wow, it really doesn't give you a lot, though, does it? If you eat the bandages. Probably not going to do that again. That gives you a minuscule amount of health. Like one section of health, I think that was. Yeah, definitely not worth it. All right. So, let's go back. I think I'm going to go get some um, ointment or something. So we've got that. I think we'll be fine. We'll probably encounter health and things along the way anyway. So that should be all gravy. Have a little peek through here. Ooh. Ooh, little bandage, I guess. Save disc. Hello, friend. Come on. Ooh, he's quite sprightly himself, actually. There you go, buddy. You say that? Yeah, actually went down without too much fuss. Good man. Dark room, eh? Hmm. More bogon bolts. Yes, please. Seems to be getting a lot of bogon bolts. Hmm. Very suspect. Evening. Wakey, wakey. Yeah, we're not going to deal with that guy. Again, really close quarters. It's, yeah, not going to be great. What I like about that section, actually, is uh, the way his animation works with the cloth physics. It's actually really cool. Now, because these doors are now locked. Seems like the medallions were taken. Yes. Very curious. Right, okay. What I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to go save it. I'm going to end this video here. Because I've got very little time to get my recordings done this week. So, we'll keep them relatively short, I think. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it here when we come back. Well, we've got the Pluto key now. Uh, we've also got more save discs. We have so many of these now. The game has changed in that regard. Uh, we went through literally finding them as we went to now, where we have, you know, finding them every... It almost felt like every video we was finding maybe one save disc. Now we've got so many backed up. Uh, but anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time.